I couldn't make it up if I tried. I could not make it up. Benefits to be cut. They want to cut the benefits. They want to raise the retirement age. But the fact of the matter is, while the size of our national deficit is troubling, and it needs to be addressed, Social Security is clearly not where the problem lies. To the contrary, Social Security is running year on year surplus. Last week, the government released its annual actuarial report for Medicare and Social Security. And along with finding that the life of the Medicare Trust Fund has been extended by 12 years thanks to the passage of the recent health care law, an achievement I am very proud of, the report also found that, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, you all have given me the opportunity to serve in the Congress. And I am blessed with that opportunity. And let me just say something. You know, it doesn't get any better than being a member of the Congress when you can vote for that health care bill that has the ability to transform people's lives. You dream that in some way you'll have an opportunity to pass that kind of sweeping legislation. And all of you have given me that, offer, that opportunity. And I was proud to cast a yes vote for that. I don't care what any of you I don't care what any of The report also said that, um, the, uh, the, that Social Security is in a strong financial shape until at least 2037. While this year's payments exceed revenue, and we have to acknowledge that, that was because of this great recession. And the surplus will resume next year. Now, starting in 2024, benefits being paid out will begin to exceed what Social Security is taking in. But Social Security will be able to pay 100% of benefits for 13 more years. At that point, in the year 2037, the program will still be able to pay between 78% of its benefits even if the Congress did absolutely nothing between now and then. But the Congress will act. The Congress will act. Remember 1983. Let me remind you about 1983 where there was a very real problem. Bankruptcy was only a year off. One year, not 27 years. And back then, the Congress and President Reagan worked together on a bipartisan commission that ensured Social Security would be solvent for generations. And that it didn't, what didn't happen was changing the fundamental nature of the program, but by making minor adjustments to the benefits and the financing structures. The adjustments they made have kept Social Security in stronger financial shape ever since. And we can do the same. We need the political will to do the same. There are many ways we can improve Social Security's already solid financial position without raising the retirement age or by cutting benefits. And that is our obligation. We risk losing the agreement that we have maintained for the past half century that we are all in this together. We risk losing faith with the understanding that all employees, poorest to riches, contribute to something in common and that everyone gets something in return. And we abandon the sense that despite differences in political out outlook and social standing, we all believe that it is good for society to guarantee minimum standard of, of economic security for its oldest, disabled, and widowed citizens. Government has an obligation to play a role in making opportunity real, a moral obligation. And I do not believe, as I said, in every man or woman for himself or herself. I believe in the values of shared responsibility and personal responsibility. I believe in what we can achieve together. Those are the principles at the core of Social Security. This is a defining challenge for all of us. 
a statement about the kind of country we want America to be. And as Franklin Roosevelt told the Congress, Social Security is, and I quote, a return to values lost in the course of our economic development and expansion. Today, let us, and that's what we are doing, reaffirm these American values. Let us commit ourselves to fighting for Social Security for our children and our children's children. Happy 75th birthday, Social Security. And in Italian, we say, 100 years and beyond 100 years.